next girl is from I can't. Bleh. Hi guys, mabuhay, hola, bonju, kumbawa are my greetings for you today, and welcome to my channel. Oh, it's Oji. And for today's episode, we'll be talking about my early prediction for Miss Universe 2020 that will take place uh, in the first quarter uh, of next year or the first month of the second quarter of next year. And that information I got from Mishamsi Subsup Lee. So anyway, before we proceed again, let me remind you Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and press the notification bell so you'll be updated with my blogs. So today it's an early prediction. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of things can still happen, but for the time being, I'll give you the girls that I feel uh, uh, have the capacity to win the Miss Universe for the 69th edition. So here we. Go. earlier a lot of things can still happen because all these girls who have been selected are in the thick of training so they still have about three or four months to go before the competition so the transformation will still happen so for the time being these are the girls that really just you know caught my attention uh, this is not in any particular order so the first girl that we're going to talk about is Miss South Africa Shudif Hatsu Mosida. Please forgive me for the pronunciation because I'm not so sure on how they pronounce their name, but I'm really trying my best. Okay? This girl has everything to make it. And South Africa has a very, very good chance for a back to back victory. Just by looking at her picture, 24 years old, model, and a mental um, health awareness advocate. This girl's strength is uh, simply her communication skills. You know when she speaks, she commands, and she talks with sense and uh, conviction. So that makes her stand out. And just the right makeup, you can turn her into a model, model beauty queen. So those are, I guess, some of the qualities that uh, I am just looking for. So she's uh, really on my radar, so I'll be still monitoring her. and. Uh, Definitely, when uh, the pageant night comes, um, she will still be in my list of potential winner. The next girl is Miss USA, Asha Daniel Branch, 20 years old, from the state of Mississippi. Uh, she's currently studying at the University of Mississippi uh, with a degree in Integrated Marketing communications uh, with emphasis on public relations and minor in general business. Of course, USA, who can dispute their delegates? These girls come prepared. They know the pageants so well, aside from the fact that um, they speak their mind, they have so much knowledge. So comm skills again is uh, the advantage of these girls. Uh, but it really lies on the sincerity of a girl and her um, uh, knowledge about uh, or rather being authentic to what she's saying and I felt that um, during her Q&A and interview she has those qualities aside from the fact that you know she's beautiful so uh, Asha uh, has a very good chance again of uh, bringing back uh, the Miss Universe title to the USA since they won. I think the last time they won was in 2012, courtesy of Miss Olivia Culpo. Um, you know, it's a face na ang ganda, hindi mo rin pagsasawaan with the right makeup and right styling. It's just what it takes to, to become the next Miss Universe fam, the US girl is from a country where I visited several times and I intend to go back to that country again because they're so full of culture and history and my business is there once in a while <clears throat> she's none other than Namaste from Miss India Adeline Castellano 22 years old uh, with a degree in business administration 
Adeline uh, was raised in Kuwait with her parents until she was 15 and then they moved back to Mumbai in India where she became a model until she joined the Miss India contest and eventually winning it. What do I like about this girl? You know how Indian delegates are. They come prepared. Aside from having that exotic look, they're so holistic when they answer. Um, they know what they're talking about. They're aware of everything around. They were aware of everything that's going around. You ask them questions, they can answer it, and they, you know they draw you. You get uh, they they uh, you she or their delegate gets your uh, they get your attention, and that's something that she has. Aside from the fact that her face also changes, um, she can be sexy, she can be exotic, and she can be of course beautiful. So. Added, aside from the fact that you know she speaks speaks so well, India again with uh, uh, the proper training and uh, and her team, the Miss India organization, with the time given to them because they they had the crowning of Miss India earlier, so they had so much time to prepare. And I hope by the time that uh, uh, their delegate competes in Miss Universe, she is ready to bring back the crown too. India. The next girl on my list is from South America, Miss Brazil, and her name is Julia or Julia Gama. Julia is uh, 27 years old, a model and a pageant veteran, having competed and represented Brazil already way back in 2014 in Miss World, where she placed as one of the top, top 11. Now, what what do I like about Julia is that her classic face uh, slowly um, they're really transforming her into something something more beautiful and I know Brazil also wants to, to have their third Miss Universe the last time they won was way back in the 60s so since 2011 they have been placing in the semis so you can just see and feel their hunger for the crown and I guess uh, having Julia around and her team, uh, the Miss Universe, the Miss Universe crown for 2020 can also go back to Brazil. Next girl is definitely not the least. Our very own Mabuhay, Basta Ilonga Guapa, Rabia Mateo, Miss Philippines. Rabia is 24 years old. She has a degree in. Um, physical therapy and graduated cum laude from the Ilo Ilo Doctors College. Now, my take on Rabia. Uh, by the way, she's half Indian. There's no question about it. She's beautiful. But my main concern is one is her height. She's short. And I don't want her to be drowning competing with uh, uh, all those tall women in this universe. And I hope her team can figure out something to make her look tall. I think pwede naman yun with heels. At the same time, um, they really have to assess her look. Because lately, the pictures that have been coming out, it's not consistent. Uh, may mga pictures na sobrang ganda siya. May mga pictures na wala naman the thing. So they really have to figure out her styling. Aside from that, her calm skills, she speaks well, but I need more, more, more conviction. Uh, um, if they can really package everything, the height, the calm skills, and her looks, then we can look forward for our uh, fourth Miss Universe. Of course, I, I want her to win, so I'm just being realistic about her strength, her strength and her weaknesses. And I hope they can do something about it. So do something about it so by the time that Miss Universe is already here we can look forward for her winning so that's my take on Rabia Mateo number six is from another country that I love Sawadika from Bangkok Thailand Miss Amanda Obdam 27 years old she has a degree in business administration, minor in economics from the University of Toronto. She's half Thai and Canadian. Uh, she's not also new to pageantry. Way back in 2016, she won the Miss Grand Phuket. At the same time, she also won the Miss Tourism Metropolitan International. So she has uh, several pageant experiences. 
Now, if we're going to talk about winner as of this time, I would really place my bet on Amanda. Except that she has to work on her communication skills. Yes, she speaks English well, but it lacks a bit of substance. And I, I, I guess by now they've seen that. So if they work on that, plus the way they are really transforming her, because I know Thailand is wanting back their third Miss Universe. So if they work that way, uh, collaborate well with uh, how she looks, uh, her comm skills, uh, and... Uh, Aside from beauty and calm skills, I guess the way she would relate to people, that's so important. The way she would deal with people, her packaging in general. Then, Thailand can win their third Miss Universe. So, as of this time, I would really place my bet on Amanda. So, guys, that's it for today. That uh, choice and predictions can still change. As I said, it's still a long way. So... We'll wait from now until the coronation and the prelims and everything before I give my final hot picks for Miss Universe 2020. Again, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been again Oji Lukman from Oh It's Oji. Bye everyone. See you in my next vlog.